So hello there, um, this is Joseph speaking at the night because <clears throat> I couldn't be able to get any sleep tonight and uh, as you're hearing my voice is not totally okay because, <clears throat> well, uh, some matters. Anyway, uh, I'm supposed to be helping you a bit with the uh, mixing, uh, how to start to mix and, and I was just... Uh, giving you a little quick start for you here. I'm not gonna make it complicated, I'm gonna try to keep it very simple. First thing I do is that I take my USB memory, this is my USB memory. I put this one into my computer. I have a USB ports in my PC right here. And basically I have everything in music on this little USB memory which is very small. It's actually 16 gigabytes on this very small stick so I have lots of music there. And then this thing pops up in Windows, of course. And uh, what I do then is I can open to view my files, but I don't need to do that. I only need to do this. This is H, my drive. So let's go to that and uh, let's just go to MixMeister Studio. And this is the icon for the MixMeister Studio. So that starts up my MixMeister Studio. And as you can see, that was like lighting fast. So that works very fast. So, well, I haven't actually got anything in plan, but right now I have a song called Isla, which you might have heard before. It's called uh, DJ Charger Mix. I just pick this this uh, this song, and then I just drag it over from here to the other, to the playlist window, window in this program. Uh, this program, by the way, is called the MixMeister Studio. This is the one you want to mix in, because it's so easy to work in. And it, this is the one I've been using all the time. So basically what happens right now is that I got a track down here and uh, uh, I also can see it right up there. So I, I, th what I see right here is loads of um, loads of songs from uh, which I've imported before in my other mixes. So there are random songs, you know, lots and lots of songs there. So don't care too much about this, I just pick some of them and just drop them there. And what appears in our mix will be the one in this window, not in that window. It will only be in this window, right? And here is the first song we're gonna mix, and then the next comes, and you'll see the rest. So, so I'll try to keep it simple now. The, we're gonna take the angelic, stay with me. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't. I know I've been drunk before, so it's not as easy. But uh, we'll take the angelic, uh, go right in there, and I'll just, I'll just, as you can see right here. We'll just go like here, and then we'll go like uh, beat mix. I will beat mix this 64, as you can see right there. What will happen now is that if you go down here, and I, I let go of the button, I click there on 64, and then all of a sudden you see that those ones automatically mix in into each other there. So instead of being here, this one move here. So this means that when this... Isla song comes first, it mixes into this angelic, stay with me, the second which we have in our list here, and it's down here. So you can see it both in the list up here, you can see the, the information about the song and you know, uh, what art it is, artist it is, what title it is, how many BPM you have, which is beats per minute and shit. I'm not, I'm not going into that because that's the deep stuff. So. So you have the song here, and that's automatically now being mixed into this because I choose during up here, right? I choose right here that I wanted to this to go to the the beat mix 64. You get it? So by doing the beat mix 64, you get it automatically to mix into the other song in the, in the, as as when you are. Uh, well, when when you want the other damn song to begin. Okay, you got it. So, okay, and I don't have any damn battery. I get really annoyed, but but we'll try to listen to it, see if it sounds. Okay. Sorry. So <laughs> this will probably not sound good. This is just, you know, this is exactly how it works. It will work like this every time, but and then of course it's a lot more about about feeling, what what song sounds the best, uh, and, and stuff. 
It's important though to listen closely to the transitions and see that it sounds okay. As you can hear, we're going from a song down here that is 144 to 130, about 129 even. So that is the BPM. So so it has to slow down very slowly and since we have a very long transition you won't notice it so much that's what makes it sound more professional can you hear it? now the more calming song is coming in let's take that again okay let's take it again let's take it from the this is very important right because this is what really makes it sound great you know in the mix right here the other one is starting to take in I can see because I see it graphically in the mix right there it will start to sound more I tell you when it starts it's gonna start exactly when no there did you hear it that's exactly when the second song starts, it's a beat somewhere, you know. Uh, and as as you can hear, as you can hear, this is just two songs. You know, I make 22 songs in a mix or something. It doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters is that you, well, you make a good sounding transition. You have one song that works with another song, of course. That's easy. That's how easy it is in Mixmeister. It's really super. It's almost too easy, honestly. But uh, you know, as for me, uh, I listen extremely much to the music before I release it, and it, it's almost more about listening to the music than to do a lot of work. It's actually more about having a feeling for the music than actually a lot of learning how the software works, really. But as you can hear, this works. Even though we're going from 145 BPM to 130 BPM, it still works. Even though it's slow, it, it, you can hear it get slower, right? But still, it's not really bad, so it works. And uh, yeah, so... Yeah, that's it. I'm not gonna get, gonna get any more complicated. That's how, how it is in the beginning, you know. It's really how it is. So bye-bye, that's all. Talk to you more on Skype.